Ever wonder how a microchip, the tiny brain inside your phone, is actually made? It all starts with sand. Yes, regular sand because it contains silicon. And a lot of the world's silicon comes from a place called Saudi Arabia. Fun fact, did you know that? And instead of paper, it's a way for the size of a human fingernail. Using lasers and UV light, they write the patterns for the microchips. The circuitry that makes your phone work, the patterns are so small. They're measured in nanometers. That's smaller than a virus. If it fails, it gets trashed. So next time you use your phone, remember, it started out as sand. If it works, congratulations. You just made a smartphone. Pretty cool, right? Anyways, the sand is melted at over 1,400 degrees Celsius, which is about 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit, to make ultra-pure silicon crystals. Those crystals are sliced into thin wafers. Imagine slicing a salami, but way more precise. Each slice is only a few atoms thick. That's about one-tenth the width of a human hair. This creates millions or even billions of tiny transistors that control electricity. A transistor is like a tiny switch that can be turned on or off with electricity. By controlling the flow of electricity through these switches, we can make really complex logic operations happen, like adding some numbers together or comparing one number to another. These are the basic building blocks of your phone's processor. The thing that makes it smart enough to take your dumb inputs and turn them into useful outputs. Next comes photolithography. Think of it like printing, but instead of ink. It's a chemical soup each chip is about the size of a sesame seed. It takes a whole team of engineers just to design the circuits on a single chip. They have to make sure that everything is laid out as efficiently as possible. Since every millimeter counts, then the wafer goes through chemical baths and iron blasts and metal layering. After weeks of processing, the wafer is chopped up into tiny squares, like a sheet of paper cut into individual cards. Finally, each chip is tested. This is a TSMC, the world's largest manufacturer of microchips. They produce 90% of the world's supply. That's one minute. See you tomorrow.